finally back from the Easter break. It took a bit longer um, than planned because I lost my wallet with all my documents and money and cards. So I had to stay a bit longer to get my new driving license and uh, credit card. Yeah, I'm back with a few days delay. It became pretty warm and everything is totally green here. The whole property is pretty much overgrown. I'm gonna take care of that in the next days and cover that in the garden video, which will come up next. I've got this old uh, watch and a vinyl player with lots of old vinyls. A sewing machine here from Singer. I'm pretty sure we can actually get it to work again in case somebody wants to sew something here. Feel free to use it. <laughs> the main reason is uh, because it kind of looks old and it is old. Maybe between 60 and 100 years, I would guess. And it will be the perfect decoration for the stone house. A lot of things happened here at the construction site. We finished the stone path pretty much Nearly all of it actually, just a little bit left because we ran out of stones. But waiting for my wood guys from Setter Design. They're sadly a bit overloaded and it takes them a while to bring my shelves. And also we need more handrails for the new terraces, but yeah, hopefully they're gonna come soon. Now it's April, hopefully for May. First of May, that would be a nice uh, date in three weeks from now. But you know, it's Montenegro, so probably everything will take a bit longer. It's April 22nd and the last days were a little bit rainy and cold actually again. But now we're back to work and we had to get some more stones to finish it. And we've got this uh, beautiful path leading up to the tower now, which will be very important because the right side of the lower floor of the tower will be a small kitchen, which we're probably uh, gonna build in the winter time for next season. Yeah, and all that's missing now are the handrails. Sadly, the Sita design guys are, um, yeah, not really replying anymore. <laughs> part is actually this terrace here. It was totally worth the extra work to uh, dig out all the soil. I already got one of the tables from the stone house in here. And the summer will be super nice and shady and we have a nice breeze coming through. And the winter have a little bit of a uh, rain protection. You can see it's very close to the fireplace. You can kind of join the fireplace action without sitting in the smoke, which I think people will really appreciate as well. This path is very important here. It was really getting worse and worse and the absolute coolest thing is the new staircase here it looks amazing so from the fireplace here you can either go to the old bar if i have both bars open or you can go up here straight to the stone house and one more thing that we're going to do now is finishing the window here in the terrace there's still some water coming in somewhere and I can see some pretty big gaps in the wall. Work on the window here, which uh, Mitzi sadly didn't finish. Uh, he kind of left me without a proper explanation, let's say. He thought he would do all the stone path and then when he saw that Dutch was doing them, he was like, okay, I'm not coming back to work to you anymore and I gave him money in advance, uh, for instance, for this window as well. He was supposed to do that, but I think I can patch it up as well. Maybe it will not look as nice. So I finished with this part of the wall here. I removed a bit of the ivy. Uh, the corner looks good. Um, I have one more hole to fix here and then I'm gonna go up the wall here and uh, put some new wall, uh, stones. And then I have to do the same on this side. And that was nearly done with the toilet window. <laughs> halfway with the window um, and I place a bigger stone that's also leading a little bit on the wooden handrail so I'll let that dry overnight and then uh, tomorrow actually I can't continue because I'll be in bar the whole time but in the next days I'll finish it up and also the right side will not be that hard anymore and yeah 
tomorrow the guys will uh, clean up the fruit and then I think we're pretty much done with this. All the terraces and all the um, paths and yeah, just have to wait for Seta designs. I'm waiting for four months now. They still have to install the, the hanging bar and the shelves and also yeah, the handrails. But I should probably look for alternatives now because I need the handrails. Without the handrails I can't uh, officially open up I think. So yeah, it's a shame that they're having such a delay, but what can we do? <laughs> All right, I'll see you around. Bye bye. Can't wait any longer, so I gave the job to put the handrails over here and over here for the new terraces to my steel guys. And they're just on the way here now. They've done it in around two weeks. So it's gonna be very nice to have the handrails up here and uh, we can finally install the lights on top of them as well. And also on the path in the two steep parts, we're gonna have some handrails as well. So it's gonna be easier to get up and down. Yeah, I think any minute now the guys will come and of course I'm gonna document it for you. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> We're done for the day. Half an hour before I open my bar, this is literally the perfect timing. It's not finished yet because um, uh, they have to kind of do another round of paint and also we're gonna have little platforms to put the lamps on. And uh, they're coming back tomorrow for that, but yeah, at least we've got the handrails and nobody can fall down here anymore. <laughs> uh, downstairs, we have the ones in the steep part as well. Turned out really nice. And here, I really like this corner, the rounded handrail. Maybe I have to get a rope and tie this pomegranate tree a little bit up because now it's a little bit in the path here and yeah uh, over here we have the last oh, the last handrail <laughs> which also looks really nice yeah we're gonna have more lights installed here and uh, yeah. then we just have to do two more things at the storage area I need one more storage room for my bar and uh, yeah, another handrail for the class on top of the terrace and then we're pretty much done but yeah and i have to clean all the stones with a pressure washer and then we're going to be finished for the summer Uh, July 2nd we've got the lamps installed now I wanted to do the pressure wash today but uh, just uh, around 10 a.m. Uh, this morning we had a massive storm one of my new lamps also just broke from the storm and also sadly the huge mulberry tree pretty much uh, snapped in half nearly this tree had a lot of the fruit the whole area looked uh, like a mess I cleaned it up already but I documented it for the garden video there will be one more gardening video coming up after this video pressure washer uh, hooked up uh, especially here in this area we had a lot of berries falling down and I just want to give all these stones a proper clean clean as much as I can so <laughs> All 
right, so I barely made it to the terrace here. Um, at least most of it. I can't reach the path down here because my 25 meter hose is not long enough. It's uh, not the best pressure washer, but it's enough to clean the fuchs uh, because they were really dark from the falling fruit. Another spot where I can really use the help of the pressure washers just in front of my uh, private uh, house. These stones were actually the very first stones that I laid down myself. Stones were actually uh, just lying around randomly on the property. I'm done uh, cleaning up uh, the stones. Uh, that took uh, a bit longer than I expected. In total, eight hours. So now I'm gonna eat a little bit, but I'm gonna give you one last tour of how everything looks now. And yeah, it's also the last video for now. Yeah, and the tree behind me is uh, yeah, much smaller now. The big branch uh, uh, broke off in the hurricane yesterday. It was actually 200 kilometers per hour down at the harbor. So it was even worse than up here. And yeah, a lot of stuff got damaged. So I think I was kind of like doing pretty okay, relatively. And uh, we've got a beautiful view on the sunset from here now. And um, the other terraces are ready as well. I'll get some more tailor-made furniture at some point. This is just the stuff that I had already. This terrace also turned out so nicely. With a little roof on top for shade. A personal highlight is the staircase here. I think it looks so amazing. Coming to the end of the video actually, uh, there's gonna be one more gardening video, probably in one or two months. Uh, that's my pace right now, getting a video out every two or three months. But the construction pretty much is finished now for this year with the completion of the terrace and the staircase. We got much more space to sit now in front of the stone house where we moved the bar to. And um, yeah, I've got still like, I still got plenty of space pretty much all around me, but that's gonna be for the future. Step one is complete now. Get the stone house ready and have some space to sit around. I hope you enjoyed the journey here in the construction series. Um, after the guard video that will come at the end, uh, probably I will do some traveling videos again. And then for the next winter time, we're gonna kick off uh, the next construction phase. Most likely be in the tower. I wanna build a little kitchen in the tower and add a fourth floor. So uh, we're just gonna wait for the winter because then it's gonna be cooler. So with that, I say thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around. And don't forget, you can also hire the tower for private events. We've got quite a few weddings this year already and birthdays. So uh, check out the link in the description, the event page with all the rates if you're interested in a very unique location for your party. All right, I'm gonna go into my hammock now. I'll see you around. Ciao, ciao. Made it to the end of the video that's awesome thank you so much if you liked it don't forget to hit that like button as well leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet a special shout out to my patreon supporters as well if you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip then check out the link below